Hello, this is Steve Keniston, the Storage Alchemist, and welcome to today's Compressed Thoughts, the impact of storage within IT today. To coin a phrase by our green friend, Al Gore, the storage industry is at an inflection point. IT cannot keep buying storage to solve their data growth challenges. IT vendors can put up any number of slides with graphs that show data growth, costs, and energy, all growing up and to the right. In direct contrast to data growth is the amount of capacity required to be kept online and available for business requirements, and the amount of money available to do this continues to be less as a function of overall company revenue. The more interesting chart on this slide is in the center. If you take a look at the amount of primary storage growth, it's four times that of the backup storage growth. I mention this because data deduplication is a market that is one and a half, one billion dollars these days. And data deduplication technology has made a significant impact to IT organizations when it comes to backup and recovery. Likewise, real-time data compression can bring a great deal of value and savings to the primary storage market. In order to start to have an impact on the storage growth and cost problem, compressing primary storage is now a must. The challenge, anytime you deal with primary storage, however, is to make sure there is no impact to any of the existing infrastructure characteristics. This spans performance, availability, and process. IT purchases storage for two fundamental reasons, performance and availability. Whatever solution IT chooses to help them solve their storage problem can not impact either of these two things. If performance and availability are two of the main characteristics to consider when choosing a primary storage optimization technology, then we should take a step back and think about how this isn't any different than when users considered leveraging other capacity optimization technologies throughout history. There have always been three things users needed to think about. What are you doing to my data? Whether it be compression or data deduplication, the need to understand how the data is being manipulated is important. If it can't be described and you can't ensure data availability and integrity, there'll be a challenge. Customers will also say, well, if you're doing this, especially if you're doing this real time or in line, you must be slow and have an impact to performance. Once again, you need to prove that this isn't the case. And once that's proven, the next and final question becomes, what is the true TCO and overall value proposition? The reality is, end users don't want to be the ones who fail to make the right capacity optimization decisions for their company and continue to spend unnecessary IT dollars. And while IT vendors may say, well, we'll sell less disk, at the end of the day, just like with tape compression or data deduplication for backup, these technologies actually drove growth in storage, and I believe this will be the case with primary storage. If I have more capacity, then I will use that capacity, especially things for, such as keeping more data online for regulatory requirements or more snapshots for recovery. Storage is elastic, and optimization will continue to drive uses and more use cases for additional capacity. Thank you. I'm Steve Keniston, and that's your compressed thought for the day.